I'm being joined now by uh, Mr. Bashir, Sharif Makshina. Thank you so much for coming tonight on the program. Thank you very much. Sir. What is happening? I mean, you've raised an alarm over the ticket of your party. Yeah. And uh, you've said that there is pressure on you. Who is mounting the pressure? Well, uh, specifically, uh, the, pres the pressure is, is more or less speculative. Speculative in the sense that a group of people may be agitating for someone to come and take over the ticket uh, that was actually uh, given to me by the electorates. Uh, uh, putting the speculation that maybe someone should come and take over. Uh, there wasn't any clear-cut uh, 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 person or message directly that says uh, I should step down. But uh, from the headquarters of my party, uh, recently I was informed that if I'm still in the rest, that I should actually write formally to inform the party that I am still the candidate that I am. So I... I so I, you, where did the letter come from? No, I, they requested... Uh, by, request. by verbally? They requested verbally? Yeah, or they, yeah, yeah. In writing? You know, we are in the process of following up, uh, uh, finding out if the nomination forms and what have you are ready. We are filling the uh, personal particulars form submission and what have you. Then this question comes, are you still in the rest? Who then asked course, that question? Yeah, from the party headquarters. And then, of course, I said, I, I am the candidate that was duly elected by the electors, the delegates that participated in the senatorial primary elections in the Yobe North Senatorial District. So uh, then I formally wrote a letter to the party uh, reiterating and affirming my position that, look, I am still the candidate. I did not withdraw, and I'm not withdrawing, and I'm in the rest just in the event anybody is contemplating or doubting that uh, there is any move. So the pressure, the threat, or maybe the agitation by some people that uh, this, this very mandate that was given to me by, by members of the APC uh, in the recently concluded senatorial primary election uh, still stands. This mandate stands uh, uh, is with me. I'm not withdrawing. I am in the rest. I did not attempt and didn't share that with anybody. All right. So uh, before we get into the other matters, let, let, uh, let's just clear a few issues. Yeah. Were you anointed by the governor of your state? Anointed? I was elected in the primaries. Were you a, are you a preferred candidate oh, of yes. your governor? Yeah. Every candidate that is elected by the people is a preferred candidate by the governor. So Governor May Malaboni prefers you, you are close to him? Not prefers me, but rather Governor May Malaboni is with any candidate that is elected by the party. You know the reason why I'm asking these questions? Okay. Is because there are talks in your state okay. that you are a preferred candidate that is being used to fight Amelawan. To Fight? fight I'm alone. Well, no. There wasn't anything like fighting I'm alone, and I don't think there is any friction or fight generally within the party in my state. If you were asked officially yeah. by the party to step down for I'm alone, would you? No, I won't step down because I'm alone did not contest for the Senate. Of course, it's a known fact. It's an often secret I'm alone contested for president and lost. And uh, when I contested for Senate, Ahmed Lawang did not participate or did not contest. So I don't think that may be in any way an issue. So what if the party decides to compensate him for losing out at the president's, uh, uh, presidential primary and say, OK, go back to your senatorial seat? Would you still consider that move? Assuming you heard from the president today, would you consider stepping down? Well, you know, uh, Sharon, don't forget the fact that uh, uh, APC as a party in itself uh, was formed. We formed the party due to this issue of maybe 
trying to correct anomalies by previous political parties like the PDP and other political parties. So it's a, the, it, was, it was formed by a merger of people from various political groups, various political parties, the PDP, ANPP, ACN, and the rest. And the sole purpose to ensure that we form a party that provides justice, peace, and harmony. That's why uh, the motto of APC show is justice and peace. And then, of course, this is a party that is being led by responsible, law-abiding citizens. So being law-abiding, do you think that it will be part of law or it will, be, it will coincide with justice for you to say, well, uh, somebody had a mandate from the people elected and then you change him suddenly overnight? No, I'm sure my party will not just do that. I'm confident my leaders are very fair and just. They are going by the motto of our party, justice and peace. Now, you have uh, come out to the public to raise the alarm. Yeah. And the question is that, is this alarm just based on speculation? There are no real threats to your ticket. Well, if, if, if after, a week after in the primary election, someone asks, are you still in the race? Definitely, uh, something is maybe fishy. But just for me to be sure, I wrote to the party that, look, don't let anybody mislead you. I'm still in this race. I still hold this mandate, and I am the candidate of the APC to contest the 2023 senatorial election in Yobe North. Uh, that is Yobe North Sea. No. So another question is whether or not you, you, you said you will not relinquish the ticket. So um, your name has not been submitted to INEC just yet. But one of the fears that you have is that you might be surreptitiously, your name might be surreptitiously replaced by another person. Do you have the feeling that those kind of move is being made in the background? Well, I don't, I really don't think there is that move, but the, that speculation that, that, that leads to uh, maybe some people saying uh, uh, or asking if I'm still a candidate will create the fear. But because I'm not part of the working, you know, team that are presenting or working for our party to see who and whose names gets to the INEC, I wouldn't say, well, my name is surreptitiously replaced or whatever. I don't, I, 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 this mandate, you know, the Electoral Act is very clear. Somebody, I don't think, in this era will just sit down and, and remove someone's name and replace somebody's name, especially the person that didn't undergo the process of that primary election. Somebody that doesn't contest an election naturally can't be in that election. That is covered by the law, covered by the Electoral Act. What do you fact, it's even covered by the guidelines of our great party. What do you think might be behind all of this? Well, uh, maybe some power play. From where? Oh, yes. Now you are just saying, of course, it's, it's, it's a reality. We just finished the presidential, presidential primaries. That is, we finish all the primaries from top to bottom. And... Uh, Maybe some politicians who are actually not prepared to go and to, to contest for certain elections uh, got themselves contesting the elections, thinking that maybe somehow, somewhere, they will come across some luck to pick the ticket. Maybe they, uh, people who are not actually fit enough to contest certain office, offices shown uh, went about, and then maybe eventually they are contemplating that they should get back to their actual level. Maybe so. You emerged as a consensus candidate. No, I was elected. I contested the election, and I was elected. There was a primary election. There is a balloting. So when you ballot, there is, that isn't consensus. I scored 289 votes out of the 300 votes that were cast. How there many are 300, were in there, there are 300 delegates. That is 50 delegates. Is that the result sheet? Yeah, sure. Can I, can I say? Thank you. Okay, so I asked, you are the only person on the ballot. This, so for, for the sake of our viewers, yeah. this is it. 
You and you are the only person. Yeah, that, only. that contested. So you, you you are an obvious. You 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 were returned on a post. On a post, but delegates voted as a markup following the process. So well, I mean, so is it right for those who say that this was uh, a go the governor's hand in it? No, there isn't any. I'm saying I was elected, shown. So is there anything like the governor's hand? Because I mean, that's what we are hearing from the other side. Mm. Which side? The other side, uh, yeah, your opponent. other side of the divide. Well, it's not correct. This is practical that delegates assembled, 300 of them, 50 from each, from each of the uh, six local governments. They cast their votes. 289 people voted for me, and there were 11 invalids. And the election was conducted by uh, the, a representative of the party from the national headquarters, Abuja here in Yobe, and uh, we have INEC officials. You can see that they duly sign. We have security agencies representatives, and uh, there are a lot of other observers, both local international NGOs, but most importantly, all the security agencies, police, NSCDC, DSS, uh, were, were there effectively represented, and uh, the election is an open one. The election took place by the day, not in the night. So it's, 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 it's a very transparent, open balloting. It's balloting show. So when you do ballot, there is no question of consensus. Look at the signatories. All right, yeah. I, I see this. I mean, I mean, so now I'm not sure if there's anybody that is debating or contesting this uh, piece of uh, document that you have. Yeah. But the contestation is whether or not Senator Hamed Lawan, with his wealth of experience in the National Assembly, yeah. should just walk away without flying back or representing your senator. You are from uh, Machina. Machina, yes. And he's from Bade. He's from Bade. That is Gashua, yes. Yeah. So for those who believe that he should go back to the National Assembly, well, what do you say to that? Well, he doesn't believe he should. He, he, he didn't believe, and I, I'm sure he did not plan to go back to the National Assembly. That's why he contested for president and lost. So, he didn't. And this is democracy. The, the space is free. A certain period of time is, 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 is given out for people who want to contest to contest. Timetables were set, guidelines were, were, were produced by the party. And then, eventually, the election was held. Now, there is a withdrawal form that came with a nomination form yep. that has been sold. Did you feel it or not? Not. I didn't feel it. It was a must for every candidate but before your where nomination. Did they, where did they write in the form that it's a must? Sure. So what did you do with your own withdrawal form? No, I just didn't feel it. Have you, then you submitted your form? Yeah, without some, uh, signing or filling the withdrawal form because I believe I, I didn't get to this contest to withdraw. So you, you, you left the withdrawal form of and you course. just filled your in, uh, expression of interest form yeah. and the nomination, nomination form, form and yeah. you submitted those. And then the oath of allegiance and uh, is it the other oaths and I ensure that I, I feel them, the affidavit. Now, what do you make of also those who are debating in your senatorial district that a pressing in the stature of uh, the Senate president, yeah. that his services are needed, and com uh, comparing with your experience, and they think that why not give him a lawan? Because that's where this conversation has been coming from. Because I tried to follow up what exactly is happening, what are the issues, and this perhaps may not have come uh, this uh, uh, heated, if not because he was a, he's a Senate president, you know. You don't believe in that narrative, do you? <laughs> but so, why do you say, uh, certainly, Ahmed Lawan uh, was elected, or we elected Ahmed Lawan from Yobe North Senatorial District to represent us as our senator for uh, a period of 16 years. That is about four terms. Secondly, Sean, do you know that uh, Although we are lucky, that is, lucky as Yobe APC members, as Yobe indigents, that the presidency of the Senate was zoned to Yobe, 
or the Northeast, and eventually one of ours, our son, was elected uh, to be the Senate president and currently holding that position. Uh, Joan, I am I'm a long senior in the National Assembly. I was a member of the House of Representatives 1992 in the SDP. I was the first national auditor of the Action Congress. I was deputy national auditor of the PDP 2002 to 2006. So you can see when you talk of wealth of experience, uh, I have that legislative background uh, as a member of the Green Chamber. And then, of course, other experiences. My immediate first appointment uh, uh, is I was the chairman governing board of the Nigerian Shippers Council. So you can see over the period, uh, uh, so many, I have gained so, so many experiences, beginning with the legislative, then down to others. So you can, you can see that at least my people genuinely knew that, look, as one of the very senior uh, members or, of the party, uh, I am the one that will conveniently represent them in the National Assembly as a senator. So I'm wondering, uh, I have just two short questions quickly before we, before we let you go. Um, the form you say you did not sign, is the form is affixed to your expression of interest? I understand that, that that form usually is the last and is affixed. Yeah. So what happened to you? Did you return it on on field, or you still have a copy with you? Copy of the form. how do we draw a form of the whole draw? No, I just return it on field. That's all because I don't want to remove anything from the form. That's and the, the one that I accepted an on field form from you. What do you mean by an unfilled form? I feel because you did not fill all the forms. You see, the, the form, that, that very form you are talking of, the voluntary uh, withdrawal is it, uh, form, is attached. You see, there are six, 16 pages in the form. So from 1 to 16, form number 15 is the, uh, is the withdrawal uh, agreement, the withdrawal form. So I simply, you know, uh, left it unfilled because I feel, no, I, I'm not ready to draw. Why fill in this? And there is no space, nowhere in the form that says or provides that you must fill from 1 to 16. Okay. On a final note, do you have the backing of Balatunubu for your ticket? Oh, naturally, for my ticket, of course, I, I, I uh, certainly... Every ticket is being backed by Bola Ahmed Chinubu, our presidential candidate. Being the presidential candidate, uh, of course, he's backing every candidate in the APC, from the president down to the... the You're state talking about generically. I'm talking about uh, particularly if you have his backing, you have his prayers. Yeah, you I, have, have, I have his blessing, I have his backing. Uh, same with when governor. contesting... Even so did, did, when did, contested, did you, I, did you have the blessings of, from your governor too? Certainly. Specifically? Yeah, certainly. Who paid for your form? I paid for my form. You bought your form yourself? Yeah, yeah. So what is this talk about? You did not pay, you are not the one who purchased the form. Well, I paid for my form. All right. So you're insisting that no going back, you are moving ahead. Yeah, surely. That's why, Sean, I wrote this very later to the party that certainly I'm still in the race and I was elected, you can see from the result sheet, and it's a mandate given to me. And I don't think there is anywhere in the provision of our primary election guideline that provides that maybe the ticket should be, should be at any given time within the party's discretion be given to anybody that did not participate in the election. Mr. Bashir Sharif Mashina, uh, APC Centura candidate, Yobe North, thank you so much for coming tonight. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. But that's our show for tonight, everyone. Many thanks for watching. I'm sure Kimale. Bye for now. <laughs>